Hey everyone, Rob here, and we just had a massive earthquake in Iceland. You know, we felt it in Reykjavik, I felt it just now. It's 10.50 in the morning, and this hasn't even come out on the Meteorological Office's website yet. I'm just checking some of the news, and we will see, I'm sure, very soon, an update on what just happened. But we can take a look at the earthquake charts here in the Reykjanes Peninsula, not too much other than this earthquake that just occurred. We could see how quiet it was. In fact, it was so violent of a feeling here at home in Reykjavik that I actually went out to the window to take a look at what's going on. If we take a look at some of the... Uh, here we go. <laughs> we have a giant earthquake. It's breaking news. Uh, let's take a look at the webcams really quick because I went to the window to see if the eruption had actually started, which it has not from the looks of it, but um, we don't have an update. We can see if we translate this. We don't have an update on what magnitude it was just yet, but I wanted to keep this, um, yeah, just what's been going on. Uh, let's take a look. As we go, we see that uh, it's been fairly quiet overall, and this is the calm before the storm that we're typically seeing in previous eruptions. And we also know based on the video that I had just done, that uh, the land lift from the magma pushing up in Svartsvengi has actually slowed down. And if you watched the video from yesterday, we know that with this slowing down of uplift, it's increasing the pressure inside of the earth from all this magma. And we were expecting to see more and more seismic activity throughout the region. Uh, and we're definitely feeling that now, you know, there's no actual notice on on where we're at in terms of the feeling or the magnitude and we're seeing not all of the uh here we go some of the news agencies are now posting it you can see here 1050 we just updated that um but we're still waiting on the actual number from all of this so let's just re recap on what's going on if we take a look at this region again the uplift from the area under Svartsvengi has decreased and with that uh, if we take a look at here uh, with that and we're sort of taking a look at all of this the rate at which it's going up has slowed down which is not unlike what happened before the previous eruption and with that the pressure builds up and according to the meteorological office as well as what we saw before the eruption in December and all of the earthquakes that we saw in November we're going to be expecting more and more seismic activity throughout Iceland and throughout Reykjavik and throughout this area. Again, we don't have the actual numbers yet, and I'm sure that we will get these coming in any moment um, throughout the news agencies who are probably frantically trying to call the meteorological office and getting these numbers. Now, again, taking a look at the webcams, we see that, uh, of course, there's no, let's go back to the front page here. We don't have the eruption starting yet. We do know that it could be at any moment. Uh, if we look at some of these MBF webcams. Um, so that's, again, the one thing that I did want to take a look at right away as this uh, occurred, you can see it's a little bit of, of shaking, but that's probably from the wind. But uh, the eruption has not started. We do not see any signs of this. And uh, from that, we just, we just know that uh, we can expect more and more seismic activity as we await the, you know, the, what magnitude this was. Uh, didn't get any text messages or anything like that, so it's nothing it's too, too crazy. Uh, but we had MBF reporting this first, and I'm not sure exactly when we should be seeing the seismic activity coming in and sort of the data coming from this. But uh, I was thinking you could see here at 944 was the last one that was recorded and now it's uh, 1056. So we're just uh, about a couple minutes into this. We should see an update. These are usually updated within pretty, pretty quickly. The one thing though is we can see again Seismic activity has quieted down considerably over the past 48 hours. And this is, again, 
representative of what we saw right before the other eruption. So I know that a lot of people were in the comments saying, how could you predict, you know, three days until an, earth, until an eruption? But if we look at the historical aspect of the last one and what scientists are saying are common for the Reykjanes Peninsula region, then we can, with some degree of confidence, say that if this continues, the eruption, you know, should be around three days. And we're seeing that sort of come to fruition now with some seismic activity. Uh, here we go. So we have a uh, information coming out of the meteorological office here saying that it was a magnitude of 4.5. To me, it felt a little bit stronger than that, but that's still quite impressive for what we're seeing here. And we have all the news agencies uh, updating their news to, uh, to reflect this. So Vesia was the first one, and you can see that they're updating as I refresh. Um, and if we translate, it's just so everyone can uh, sort of read it as well. And uh, yeah, the source, again, near Kedlir, this is all the same region that we're seeing with, you know, the previous earthquakes. It's along this, this magma tunnel, this line that we're seeing. Um, and so we here see we have Einar Gerson saying that it was most likely a so-called trigger earthquake due to voltage changes. So there you have it. Uh, it's the most up-to-date news. We will see exactly what happens over the next 24 hours. I imagine that we are going to get a lot more of these earthquakes throughout the day. So, um, yeah, that's pretty much it for today. There's not a lot of news other than what's just happened. And, of course, yeah, stay tuned. You know, subscribe if you want. Put in the comments if uh, if you think this is a big earthquake or not for me. I thought uh, there was a giant truck outside and then all of a sudden it just kept shaking. So, uh, yeah, very strong earthquake felt in Reykjavik. Some of you might argue that's not that strong. There we go. Here it is on the map. Uh, so if we zoom in, we can see exactly where that is. You can see right there. So it is outside of the traditional area, but you can see it is definitely the largest one that we've seen in a long time. And let's see here. Um, if it's on the map here, we have it's uh, yeah, not updated. So 1053, 1050. And if we go to three or more, we can see here uh, 3.8 is what they're saying here. So there's we're getting conflicting reports exactly how powerful it was. Uh, 3.8, a depth of 4.8 kilometers down. Uh, so there we go. One news reporting it is a 4.5, and then we have a 3.8 on the website, which all of these numbers are going to be updated as they come along. But there you go. We have a large earthquake felt in Reykjavik, definitely felt throughout other parts, but you can see I probably felt it a little bit more than, uh, than normal just because it's closer to the city. So that's it for now. I'm going to keep you updated with any breaking news as it comes. Again, this one, I think, uh, you know, getting this video out to you as soon as this happens. So thank you so much for watching. Subscribe, put in the comments. Let me know, is this a big one or should we be expecting more in Iceland?